Williams Real 8. Now, when you um, started taking zeros over, SS yes. zeros, what, yes. were you, what were your reaction to them? Oh, they were. The, I fell in love with them immediately. The first one I saw, uh, I was uh, had a message from the Air Ministry to go up to, I think this time it was Kings North to collect one of the new SS Zeros. I'd heard about it, we'd been agitating, I'd been agitating, I was agitated all the time. Give us a boat car, give us a boat car. And at last, they said, here we are, come and have a look at it. So, uh, I went, I think it was King's North this time, Yes, I remember. I remember it rather clearly. Uh, it was the time when we were getting uh, Gotha raids, the big uh, daylight raids, you know, the Germans. And as I left Kings North, I remember they arrived over the top, and I came down very low over the over the, over the houses and fields, and just kept on my path north and wasn't molested. I remember that particularly, and I did the usual route up the east coast to the various stations like Fulham and Howden and uh, then across to Barrow and down how, to how, Anglesey. How did you actually navigate when you were going back? Did you navigate from recognition of, of, of the places you were crossing over, or were you navigating from maps? Oh, my, 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 instruments. oh, instruments, oh, mm. instrument flying. I always did instrument flying, but I uh, went over land there. I uh, used to keep a rough check. I had a map strapped to one knee, you see, with compasses and so on there. And uh, I could tell, I, I never lost myself. I always knew exactly where I was. I don't know, my engineer used to say, where are we, sir? I'd say, we're just cr crossing over Lincoln, uh, th there's Lincoln. And they used to tell me, don't know how you do it, don't know how you do it, they'd say to me. Now, you had no flying training with the SS Zero, you just went to Kings North, took one over and flew it away. Oh, I, I, well, I had to accept it, you see. So what, was in, what was involved in, in, in your acceptance? Well, to take it out for a flight. Yes. Can uh, you remember your doing that in your first oh yes, your first oh reaction? Oh yes, to... I, I said, this is it. Tell me this about that. This is it. Um, uh, well, I may, may get mixed up in one or two flights, but I, 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 I know immediately I saw it. It looked right. And it's like a yacht or uh, all kinds of things, or a motor car and so on. It's a, it looks right. So all aeroplanes particularly look right or look wrong. And just in the same way this SS Zero looked really correct. And when you got aboard for the first time, oh, it, it was felt ma oh, it's, it was magnificent. It still confirmed its Yes, looks. I wanted to loop the loop directly. I got up, I got that feeling of exhilaration and thought now I can do something. This, this is a weapon. Can you actually describe um, the characteristics of the ship and its layout and its feel, these kind of things. Yes, yes, so uh, the, the layout, of course the envelope uh, was, was standard. Uh, it had, uh, it had uh, what became uh, perhaps sound peculiar to you, the petrol tanks lying flat one each side of the envelope itself, right up high. Now the beauty of that was, of course, you you never had any trouble with the f petrol feed. It was a bit difficult; it had to be f fed in by from ladders. But uh, it uh, was a most, uh, what shall I say, efficient way of petrol supply to your engine. Yes. And then um, the car-shaped body was rigged closer to the envelope than the, than the peas. Uh, you see there's a limit how close you can get to the envelope by the l length of your fuselage, by the length of your car. 
because if you get up too close to the envelope you tend to get wrinkles if you lose a bit, a bit of pressure so you've got to be a certain distance tell me a little more captain williams about your first reactions to the ss zeros when you first flew them well i i thought they were delightful to fly uh, one felt that one had a real airship instead of a botched up job of a half an aeroplane and half an airship as we had before and uh, I was quite eager to uh, uh, to fly the ship home 